Welcome to the GCN Tech Show. This week we've got ourselves some new physique shoes, Harley Davidsons for kids, the Bike Vault, your upgrades, plus we're going to ask why aren't recumbents more popular? Yeah, or and snack, snacks of the week. What? Snacks Trust of the week. Trust me on this one, Sean, it's going to be good. Let's get on with the show. Lock and load. We'll begin with our weekly talking point, and John, what if I told you that you could go 50 kilometers an hour for just 200 watts on a very particular kind of bike? Would you want to ride that bike? Yeah, I, I mean, I'm, I do actually quite like e-bikes, Ollie. Not an so e-bike, what? A recumbent. Oh, recumbents, they're really Front. fast. Well, you, I don't know, you're gonna have to try, try and convince me pretty seriously. I think you'd suit a recumbent, but Hank's recent video on recumbents got me thinking. If they're so much faster, which they are, than regular bicycles, why don't more people ride them? I mean, think of all the Strava KOMs you could get. Well, I know you love a KOM, so talk me through it. I'm all ears. So first up, we'll look at the advantages of recumbents. Mm. And the biggest one is that they're faster. They create far less aerodynamic drag than a standard road bike. And a ballpark figure you often hear is 30% less drag. And it can be even less if you cover them in an aerodynamic fairing to make them even faster. They actually look quite fun, don't they, in a way? Because when you see someone absolutely hurtling along in one, they, I mean, it's just that speed, really, and they actually look quite comfy, I guess, because you're laid back, your feet are up, you know, you look like you're in a, well, almost gonna sit down and watch the television for an yeah, evening. Like in a lazy like boy chair, <laughs> like chilling out. Yeah, recliner, electric recliner. Um, they also make you smile. Yeah? I mean, pr proof of this, right, is Barney Hall, who is the recumbent expert in Hank's video. He knows a thing or two about recumbents, mm. right? And he, he said smile, well, he certainly seems to think they make you smile. A lot. Guaranteed smile. We know with a big smile, you'll be happy, you'll get away, and we'll have you smiling and riding by the end of the day. The secret is to smile. So long as you're enjoying it and smiling, you'll manage this. Okay, I'm a big smiler. Release the brake, go and smile. Big smile. Be ready to catch me. Yes, yeah, smile. Oh, oh, smile. Smile. I'm smiling. smiling. Crossing. Crossing. Well, you can't argue with Barney on that one, can you? Plus, being nice and low to the ground means that your centre of gravity is really, really good. You know, it gives you a nice stable feeling, especially when you go around a corner in a two-wheeled version. There are some disadvantages, right? Yeah. And, and that's oh, probably yes, there why. Are. <laughs> and that's probably why we don't all ride recumbents. Mm. Um, so there's loads of different types. There's two-wheeled ones, like you just mentioned, but there's also three-wheeled ones, four-wheeled ones, and you can have ones where there's two wheels at the front or two wheels at the back. And with all these different wheel layouts, there are pros and cons. Yeah, and unless you have a two-wheeled ones, they're not really that stable around corners, are they? That's yeah, basic. yeah, and in, and in general, recumbents are a lot less manoeuvrable than yeah. a standard road bike, is fair to say. Totally, I mean, I, I've actually seen people on racing tricycles as well as a tandem tricycle, and when you watch them try and go around a corner, it just doesn't work. I mean, there are motorbikes out there with two wheels on the front, aren't mm -hmm. there? Which you're quite a big fan of, I'm led to believe. <laughs> uh, and when you see them in operation, actually, it does work quite well. But to put that te technology sorry, onto a, onto a bicycle, the weight is going to really, really offset, I think, the performance. Yeah, without that uh, suspension system within a recumbent that's a tricycle or a four-wheeler, it's very easy to tip them when going at speed yeah. round corners. Seen it done. Yeah, Hank nearly did it. <laughs> <laughs> Plus, with the two-wheeled ones, well, you have a higher chance of falling off of them because you always have to maintain balance in them, don't you? People are going to say that you have to do that on a regular bike. Yeah, but it's easier. Mm. It's just easier. Yeah. There's, there's, there's a further distance to fall. I guarantee it. I've never been on a recumbent. You lower down. How is it a further it. distance that you lower down? Well, it's just, right, it's just clumsier. It's a clumsy contraption. <laughs> You can leave that bit in. <laughs> okay, right. Um, they're generally more expensive yeah. than a standard road bike as well. And, well, they're produced in smaller numbers, they're less popular. So 
I think you, you could say, to be fair, if they were mass produced, you'd expect the cost to come down. Yeah, now another disadvantage has to be going uphill on them because you can't really go up hills that easily on them because you can't actually have any surges of power because you can't get out of the saddle, let's face it, because yeah. you're laying down. And here's another one then. Do you get really bad saddle sores? Or because back, back sores. Yeah, because you can't relieve yourself in any way, can you? If you like prop yourself up out of the chair or seat, what's going to happen? Yeah, yeah, I don't know. that's a good point. I don't know. If you ride a recumbent, let us know. Yeah. Oh, another another disadvantage is that when you ride, there's riding, quite a few in there. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Carry on. But another disadvantage is that you can feel quite vulnerable when riding one because you are so low to the ground. Meaning that if there's walls or hedges on the side of the road, they can obscure you and you and you can be hidden from other road users by them. Whereas if you were on a regular bike, you, you could still be seen. And you yeah. do see recumbent users often putting poles with flags out the top that sit quite high to help make them more visible. But it is, you know, something that yeah. is a disadvantage. Really. Yeah, it's quite sad really, isn't it? That we have to actually touch on that point as it being a disadvantage because mm. they're not in the eye line. But well, there we go. But another disadvantage then, okay, uh, is you can get the uh, ones with an aerodynamic fairing in them. I want one of those yeah, ones. Yeah, the ones we've already spoken about. Yeah. look super cool, super futuristic, I guess. Although they've been around since I think the 70s or even before, even those fared ones. Um, but you get very, very hot in those because mm. obviously they don't have a great air intake going into them because then that's going to act almost like a, a sail, isn't it? Stopping you. Uh, and they're pretty fragile too. I think they're you know, they resemble almost an eggshell. Yeah, quite like. difficult to get in and out of in a yeah. hurry as well. Yeah, not the easiest things. Um, I think recumbents are fascinating bits of tech though. And yeah. I, I would I would love to have a go in, in one, particularly one of the aerodynamic ones, and maybe do some tests to see how fast they go compared to other bikes and things like that. They are an absolute feat of engineering, I have yeah. to say. It's like a molten bike, you know. There's so many different tubes and everything like that. You wouldn't know where to start if it came to building one. Yeah, and I think also it's quite exciting. We're seeing a few recumbents with e-bike motors built into yes. them as well now. And so that kind of takes away the disadvantage we spoke about with, with getting you know, harder to ride up hills. Um, you know, meaning that, well, even more reason to perhaps ride one. Yeah, I've even seen a guy on an e-bike one, uh, and it was an off-road version too. Mm. And he was at absolutely flying along some tracks and I thought that looked like serious fun. That looked like a, what, a lay down go-kart basically. Yeah, so yeah. I'm pretty keen to see you, Ollie, take this on yourself. So if you want to see Ollie, you know, battle it out there with the recumbents, let us know in the comments section yeah, down below. Yeah, if you'd like to see some recumbent content, let us know what you'd like to see. Yeah. And if you think recumbents should be more popular, then, uh, well, let us know what you think in the comments down below as well. And most of all, smile. Smile! Oh, smile! Smile! smile. I'm smiling! Now, our friends over at Physique have launched a new pair of shoes, and they've taken their fastening technology from the Parastrap R1 shoes over to these. And these ones are designed specifically for the discipline of gravel riding. Yeah, the Powerstrap X4 is, well, essentially uh, a gravel modified version of those R1s. So you've got a chunkier sole on it and a bit more of a robust toe area uh, so that you don't damage the shoes and the new colorway. And they've got this zigzag uh, strap on there as well with two velcro straps which means you can just tailor the fit nicely um, to adjust to your preferences and I've got the road version the R1 that John mentioned and yeah I really like it I've been riding it all the time yeah I'm a big fan of velcro actually and I reckon for something like this when you're riding off-road it's quite a big benefit because if you're riding through some scrub or bushes which you tend to do uh, then you're not going to get any boas or anything like that caught and well risk failure. Yeah, nice and simple. Yeah, nice colour too. Mm. More hot tech now. Now John, I know that you've always dreamed of wearing some leather trousers, a leather waistcoat, growing a handlebar moustache and riding a Harley Davidson. How do you know all these things? Although the bit about the Harley Davidson isn't necessarily true, but the rest sounds right up my street. Well now, you can get a Harley Davidson because they've brought out a new range of electric balance bikes. Check these out. Not sure I need the balance bike, but they look pretty good, don't they? They're only available in kids' sizes though, sadly, so uh, well, too late for us. Yeah, I know, but check out those kids. I mean, they look totally badass, aren't they? I wouldn't want to mess with them. Oh. 
the kids of anarchy. Snacks of the week now. Snacks of the what? what? Since when has that been a thing? It's a new feature, John. I've just, I've just invented it. Oh. Fan of the show, Lineke Prouvés from the Netherlands, has kindly sent us in some Stroop waffles, your favourite. Oh, do you know what? I've got very fond memories post Kermesse in Belgium having some Stroop waffles or rice tarts. These days, though, I've got to say, actually, a rice tart is probably my, uh, my preferred choice. Oh, look, they're individually packaged. Yeah. Thank you very much, Lonica. Yeah. Oh. That's a great idea, this is genius. Yeah. Yeah. Hopefully, we'll get sent snacks each week now. Yeah, we, we've had things sent to us in the past, actually, haven't we? Uh, friend of the show, I don't know if actually if we can call him friend of the show, Michael McDermott has sent some rather, rather interesting things through the post to us before. Yeah. We have had beer as well, that was quite nice. Mm. Yeah, um, however, uh, alongside all of this, we have actually been scouring the internet trying to find more tech, but well, there's not very much of it, is there, let's face it, because there's a big event coming up next week, isn't there, and we're going. What are we going to? Eurobike, the oh, world's yes. biggest bike show and, well, exhibition. It is absolutely massive, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, everyone seems to be holding out on their tech until next week. Yeah, I'm looking forward to that. I yeah. really am. It's going to be great. Um, so we're going to be there making content and you're going to pack your leather trousers. Yeah, I am. I can't wait to put them. This, this year, though, I am going to remember the talcum powder and while Ollie's looking forward to getting stuck into a sausage or two. <laughs> Cha-ching! It's time now for Screw Riding Upgrades by Upgrades, where you submit evidence of the upgrades that you've made to your bikes or equipment in order to win the ultimate prize the GCN Camelback Eddy water bottle. Oh yes, yours of course will not come complete with water. And your saliva? No. Uh, right, first up then, let's announce the winner from last week, where it's between Victor and Amber. We from, are From Maryland. Yeah, very important actually that. Now winning with 72% of the votes was yeah. Amber and Ooh. that, well, meat inspired paintwork of hers. Meaty. Yes. Yeah. And we've got a special prize actually, haven't we? Yes, Amber, we've got you some Maryland cookies, or yeah. Maryland cookies, as, as we, we say. call them. Yeah, um, loads of people actually were asking in the comment section, you know, things like, "I've never heard of them. What are they?" Well, there you are. They're Do they, cookies. They, they, they come in different flavours, don't they? Uh, Burton's Food Limited. I'm seeing where they're made. Burton, I reckon. Um, I think they're made in Birmingham. Okay, so nowhere near Maryland. Not or... Birmingham, Alabama, the real one. Yeah, sweet home Alabama. Okay, right. This week. Let's crack on with the first one. Uh, we've got Joseph from Hertfordshire in the UK. That's a place I used to cycle my little legs around when I lived in London and worked there as well. Uh, anyway, uh, after watching uh, the Cheap Bike to Superbike series, Joseph decided what he really wanted was a custom paint job. Yeah, Joseph, my, my paint spraying wasn't really up to scratch, was it? I'm not looking forward to where this is going. Anyway. Um, <laughs> Anyway, the paint on Joseph's Cannondale was looking particularly grimy after a winter of riding. Mm. Covered in chips and scratches, he wanted the feeling of riding a pristine new bike. Mm. Using some spray dot bike paint and stickers from eBay, Joseph went to work. Tss, tss. We can do that, can't we? Yeah. Do it. Tss. There we are. Uh, after a lot of sanding and some nice weather for painting, this is the result. Right, so here we are first yeah, up. There's the old, uh, that's like the old, Leaky uh, gas, isn't I used, it? Yeah, I used to have one a bit like that. Not that paint scheme, but yeah. Yeah. There it is, um, sanded down, primed. I hope he's removed his dark disc off the back. Oh yeah, look at that, on the previous one. Mm. Okay, and there it is, painted, little butterfly on the head tube. Dark disc removed. Oh, good work. And that's an old Cannondale logo as well, isn't it? It looks like he's made that logo and then, and then stenciled it and stuck it on. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, Fair play for I detail. quite like the detailing as well, the cables, those jack wire like cables, braided. Butterfly logo thing he's put on there. Yeah, and also the sort of the pinky it's things, nice, yeah, sort of pinky per finishes, personal, yeah. Personal touches on there. I, I, now, I like what Joseph has done. done jo Joseph sort of like hidden it in amongst the shrubbery of his back garden. Demand a shrubbery. That's a Monty Python reference. Okay, didn't get it. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> these things are lost on me. <laughs> There's a certain, I've, I only live in a certain era. Yeah, not Monty Python, no, Search for Holy Grail. No, no. I live in a very weird bubble. You live in a weirder one. Right, uh, 
<laughs> anyway, I mean, I like what they've done with that bike. I, yeah. I quite like the abstractness of those little squares. Yeah. It's not doing it for Ollie. I can tell. I mean, it's, yeah, he's I, not I like excited. it, but let's see, let's see what he's up against. Okay, well, you can, here's your contender. Yeah, okay, so, he's up against Audrey from Montreal in Quebec, Canada. And Audrey decided to give their bike a full makeover, right? Firstly, by getting some nice Campagnolo Bora 150 wheels, and they've changed the, the decals on those wheels uh, with a softer pink, right? And they've re repainted the bike as well. Um, so check this out, right? I mean, there's other things gone on there. Yeah. We've swapped the, 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 the chain out for a gold chain, but you've got that sort of Scott. Uh, is that a Scott Speedster? Uh, no, it's not. It's a CR1. It's a Scott CR1. Yeah. Oh, they were so light. Do you remember when they came out? Yeah. 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 They, that was they like really the first mega light carbon bike. Really established Scott as a lightweight bike brand. Yeah. Um, I like that with that. The but paint that, with the paint off it, you can see the, the layer. That's really cool, isn't it? It looks like Audrey is uh, something of a, of a cabinet maker or something. Just look at that background. I know. Yeah, that old Coca-Cola thing just there above the top tube. Yes. Send that in my way. Quite like that. All right, there we right. are. Sanded down. Obviously a bit of masking going on there on the inside yeah. of the forks. Look at that. I mean, there's definitely cabinets being made there. Yeah, that's a big old uh, sanding machine there as well, isn't it? Yes. Do a bit of a DeWalt tool as well. Look at that paint. Oh, glittery. Oh. Wow. Audrey. Look at that. Audrey. That's, uh, We've got smart. ourselves a very nice looking bike there. Very smart. Those Boras are cool as well, aren't yeah, they? The gold, gold chain. chain. Pink speed plays. Matched with the pink bar tape on there as well. Pink New players. saddles. That's that is, really nice. That is, isn't that's it? absolutely Pink speed plays. That's beautiful. Oh, yeah. What a detail. Yeah. Spoiling us this that week. Is aren't a, they? I, I think that's a, that's a great upgrade selection. And that's, that's a worthy bike vault submission photo as well. It's been taking notes. Clean background, yep. valves in the right position. Uh, slightly, Biggie however. Smalls, gold it, chain. Well, it's a bit overexposed on the front wheel, on the Campagnolo logo. Yes, a little bit. That. A little yeah, bit. Just a little bit, a tad bit. Uh, we, we were, um, I, I've been getting messages from people telling me that gold chains are out of stock throughout the world. Is that world. right? Yeah. Yes. Thank us, thank us. I knew it was a great idea was doing that inside a trading deal and buying shares and gold chains. Yeah, KMC. Great. Yes. Nice. Oh, yes. Anyway, right, enough of all this. Uh, you need to vote top right hand corner and we will announce the winner. And well, there's no cookies up for grabs next week, is there? No. No. Bike Vault time now, where you submit pictures of your bikes and we judge them to be either nice or super nice, and if they're super nice, then they get submitted into the bike vault. Oh yeah, so if you don't know how to get them in, or well, try and get them into that bike vault, make sure you use the uploader tool found in the description below, and who knows, maybe you'll be able to break in. Uh, now, Ollie, this week, mate, I've got a couple of options for you to yeah. ring. So I've got the bell, your favorite, yeah. and I've also got the uh, the part tool, uh, headset cup remover, or also press fit bottom bracket remover that sounds a bit like a tuning fork. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, which yeah. one would you like to ring? None of them. Okay, fine, brilliant, as standard. Right, go on then, Ollie, start us off this week with the first submission, mate. First up, we have Cedric from uh, Laos. Oh, nice. Is it Laos or Laos? Do you know what, I've always, I think, I'd probably say Laos, but we could say Laos, Laos, I don't know. Let us know in the comment section below. Yes, um, like phonetically spell it out for us. <laughs> He's is got L A Y Os, <laughs> Laos, or is it? I've not been, but it looks lovely. Yeah, it does. Anyway, just out there, we can actually He's learn first hand. We can. He's got his Alan uh, Supercross Scandium oh. Cyclocross gravel bike. I tell you what, John. Since we did that video yeah. on how to get into the bike vault, yeah. the standard has improved, hasn't it? It's risen. Yeah. I it, mean, people really are improved. people are listening. Yeah. I mean, look at that. That it's, looks so in good. In this case, there's a, there's a bit of dirt on the bike, but this is one example when dirt's allowed yeah. because it's befitting of a gravel adventure bike yeah. and it's yeah. in its natural habitat. All right, that so looks it's kind of, so you know, good. Is yeah. that like a river running through it or a stream? Underneath? Yes, I think that is. Yeah, and also the, the colour scheme of that bike reminds me of the old Allens, you know, they were anodised and they had aluminium lugs that weren't, um, you know, mm. they, they weren't painted. Yeah, oh, I, I really, that makes me want to go for a ride and just enjoy myself. Mm. Yes, it makes me want to watch Apocalypse Now. 
Okay. Uh, but it looks great. I, I think that's, I really like that bike. I think that's yeah. mint. I yeah. think, yeah, that's a super nice yeah. thing. Yeah, yeah. Uh, which, hang on, which one should I, which, which Take one? your pick, take your pick. Okay. Okay, super, super nice. There's people right now, he is, he is rattling, right. This dog's going <laughs> mental. <laughs> yeah. Do you know what, I've got a dog whistle at home. I love to annoy my dog. No, I don't really. Um, now, next up is Mark from China Beach, which uh, overlooks the Golden Gate Bridge in San Francisco. It's an S-Works tarmac disc, DI2, hand-built Boyd wheels. Lovely looking bike, isn't it? But, well... Well, I mean, textbook this, isn't it? He's not oh. watched the video. No, Mark. He's not cleaned his chain. No. It's not Biggie Smalls. He's not aligned his wheel valves. No. He's got... A light on the back. You could have just sort of taken his off. light off, yeah. the light off the front. It's not even dark. He doesn't need lights on. <laughs> Safety first. Oh. Come on, mate. No, it's it's close. It is close, but well, no cigar. Yeah, nice. Yeah, nice bike. All right, next up. Next up, we've got John from Winter Haven in Florida, the Sunshine State. And he's got his 2017 Cannondale Cab 12, which is precariously left on a railway track. Yeah, no, we don't advise that, do we? No, we don't. No. That's irresponsible. Yeah. I mean, that could potentially derail the train. <laughs> Naughty. Um, killing thousands of people um, and creating a major incident. Yeah. Uh, I think for that reason alone, nice. Oh, right, okay. Yeah, Irres oh, well, I've got irresponsible, to agree. Irresponsible, irresponsible behaviour. Irresponsible behaviour. Irresponsible. Yeah. We don't condone that. Uh, next up is Jacob in uh, Kudu in France. Yes, no. Yep. Jacob has his beautiful S-Works Vias <laughs> disc. Yeah. He also has extremely long legs. Uh, by the looks Look how high that saddle is. A lot of, a lot of seat posts Look going on there. Look the bar to saddle drop is yeah. monstrous. Seriously, aero. Um, like, yeah. But that is a stunning paint job, isn't it? That is, that, yeah. like gold S-Works logo is amazing. Yeah. And I, I love the, the, the the carbon chain rings, they yeah. look really bling, and he's got his ceramic speed, speed on oversized pulley wheel system. I mean, it's seriously bling, and yeah, it's a nice Gold photo. chain ring bolts, we've got... And he's got a black chain. That's yeah. a KMC black. Is it? Yeah. So it is, yeah, really yeah, one nice. of the DLCs, yeah, the, you know, the logo, the tyres, smalls. the... He's got some fancy bar end plugs as well in there, hasn't he? Supercast, do you reckon? Yeah. Supercast, supercast? I think that's a super nice. Yeah, I do... Is that a wall? Yeah, it is a wall, mm. isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Do you know, yeah, that looks good. I, I'm just worried that that position, you're going to do yourself some damage. Well, mate, mate he's probably had a bike fit. That's probably what he, okay, he's probably okay. saying. Right, right. So, all right, I'll give it a ring with this one. Yeah. yeah. Super nice. Right, last one. Uh, yeah, last up, we have Guy. Or he's from Vancouver International Airport. Maybe his name is Guy. Or G. Well, well yeah, because if he's French-Canadian, I mean, you know, Vancouver's in BC, but... Mm. Guy. Who knows? Um, anyway, Guy or Guy has submitted his oh stunning Sikorsky 76.3 air ambulance. Blimey! Wowzers! Max okay. speed of this this baby. Yep. 287 kilometers per hour. Uh, that's 155 knots in uh, helicopter nautical speed. Correct. Max gross takeoff weight 5,300. Kilograms. Oh, not a lightweight, it's is it? It's a heavy lifter. Heavy oh, lifter, this one. Yes. Uh, it's got a good range as well. Three hours flight time. About 500 kilometres. Decent. That's not Decent. bad at all, is it? Yeah. Also can be fitted with uh, various optical packages, including night and sun vision goggles. Uh, you've got wire strike protection in the rotor blades, air conditioning, medical oxygen, vacuum and air pumps as well to keep those patients alive in times of need. Fully loaded. Yeah. Uh, it's operated by the BC Helijet air ambulance system there. Brilliant. Well, there's only one thing to say, isn't there? Yeah, and that is a, that is a super nice chopper. Oh, 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 I do love a chopper. More Bike Vault next week. It's nearly time for the end of the show, but we're going to read out some comments from last week. Yeah, now we've got a very interesting uh, viewers, let's just say, haven't we? Because they tend to notice all of the strangest little things throughout the week. Uh, and first up, actually, is a comment from Clint Neves, who says, This week on the GCN Tech Show, we have a clean-shaven Dr. Ollie with bling hair job. Super nice. Uh, now, you did, you were clean-shaven last week, yeah. I have to say, but your hair, it, well, it... It was just windswept, wasn't I it? I know, I've uh, never had a bling hair job before. Well, no, according to Clint, you have now. Well, thanks, Clint. <laughs> Clint obviously knows a thing or two about hairdressing. Certainly does. Uh, James Carl Photography, he's obviously a photography 
expert. Yes, uh, saying Ollie is starting to sound like Mike Myers' character, Dieter, from Saturday Night Live uh, on the skit Sprockets. I, I, I'm not familiar with that particular Mike Myers character. Not a clue, but I'm going to have to look it up. Yes, yeah, Sprockets, I'm look that up. cycling, don't know, probably something. Uh, Ed Jack, did Ollie shave his eyebrows to complete the aero look? I did, and I <laughs> stuck them back on for this week. <laughs> I can categorically say Ollie did not <laughs> shave off his eyebrows <laughs> last week. Like, or this week, or ever. Have you ever done it? No. No. Remember I told you about that bloke who said he had a razor and he shaved him off on his... Yeah, yeah. anyway. All right. <laughs> well, Adam Webb uh, says, you guys are hilarious. Can we get a dedicated John and Ollie channel? Are you watching it? Well, it's not really dedicated to us, no. though, is it? No, but yeah, no, 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 no. Uh, straight Edge, I've always thought that the jolly combo, that's, jolly. that's us, that, 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 that is so bad. Well, no. No, actually, we'll run with that. Uh, on the GCN Tech Show was the best. And the more they do together, the better it gets. Also, Ollie's accents are killers. I was laughing in tears at his German accent during the screw riding upgrades buy upgrade segment. Proper good that was. 12 out of 10. Well, Straight oh. Edge, you better stop commenting about his accent. So Danke. Really good. Danke, Danke, Straight Edge. Oh, <laughs> sure. <laughs> yeah, actually, <laughs> next week sure. in Eurobike, you'll be able to. Oh, oh no, oh, no, no, no. Just in case you're wondering, yeah, Eurobike actually takes place in Friedrichshafen, Deutschland. I'm dreading this. <laughs> I'm absolutely <laughs> dreading it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, go on then. Oh, I can't wait now. Um, Rich Fye said, every day is at o it's an Ollie day because my name begins with a vowel. When Ollie joins John on GCN Tech, cue Madonna in the background. Holiday, the holiday, it would holiday. be Holiday. So, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, we'll it. probably get a, a content strike now because that was so realistic every to Madonna. Every day is holiday. And finally, Mitch Smith, mm. uh, Abbott and Costello, GCN Tech edition. I had no idea, Russ Abbott? Elvis Costello? I don't know. I don't know. Who's who the other Abbott? I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, we love going through the comments, don't we? Because they're so obscure and abstract. I think we get the best comments on our show. Do you reckon? Yeah. We've started a war now, haven't you? Yeah, but, we have. But I yeah, think thanks, some good mate. Ones. Yeah. yeah, anyway, do they remember. They make us laugh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, some make us cringe. Uh, do remember, though, to stay tuned to the channel because we've got heaps more great content coming up, haven't we? Yeah, loads of stuff. Your gravel bike thing's progressing really well. Well, yeah, it's finished now. Well, actually, I've got a couple of finishing touches to put on it, and mm. uh, yeah, that was, a, that was a, a trip down memory lane, let's say, yeah. doing that one. And you're going to go out riding it, I reckon. All right, mate. Well, you don't, yeah, I've not told you about that yet. Okay. Yeah. Uh, probably doing some horrific challenge. Now, if you'd like to support the channel, <laughs> then head over to shop.globalcyclingnetwork where you can get your hands on loads of nice merchandise, including these Spain themed t shirts, hoodies, and sweatshirts, like what yeah. I'm wearing. Yeah, it looks, looks nice. good on Ollie. I really like that one. Yeah. I'll have to get it off you later on. Uh, and also, remember as well to, well, check out two more great videos. We've got one just down here, another one just down here. And well, let's just say, auf Wiedersehen. Wiedersehen. Pet. <laughs>